Let's learn about variables. Hello, my name is Leo. I'm going to teach you about variables. Wait a minute. What is a variable? Well, remember the old days way back when you were younger and the teacher gave you something that looked like this? 24 minus 12 equals box. And she said, OK, sweetie, what number goes in the box? Well, you had no idea, but you were actually doing algebra. Look at that. You are genius doing algebra when you were a little kid. Well, now that you're older, we're going to change up the notation, but the math is still exactly the same. Instead of drawing a box, we're going to use a letter. Let's say letter X. It will represent our unknown value. To solve it, we just do the calculations. 24 minus 12 equals 12. So x equals 12. So the variable is just hiding the number, just like the box was. Now that we know what a variable is, we can write equations using them. A cat ate 7 ounces of tuna and 5 ounces of trout. Which equation can be used to find F, the total number of ounces of fish the cat ate? Well, if I were to solve this, I would want to find the total by adding. So I would calculate 7 plus 5 to get my unknown answer. Therefore, since my unknown is represented by the letter F, that means F equals 7 plus 5. Let's check out this problem. The band, the kitty cats, are planning to play a total of 38 songs during their concert tour. They have already played five songs at each of their six concerts. Which equation can be used to find N, the number of songs the band has left to play? If they've already played five songs at each of their six concerts, that's five times six. And since we know there was a total of 38 songs, to find out how many are left, we would need to subtract 5 times 6 from the 38, leaving us with 38 minus 5 times 6. And that is this answer choice. Perfect! <laughs> now let's try interpreting equations. Here we have p divided by 5 equals question mark. Describe a situation that can be solved by the open sentence shown above. Well, an, a situation that would be appropriate for this question would be one in which it starts with the value p, an unknown, and that value gets divided, split up, distributed into five equal groups to get an answer. So first, let's read through the situations. Carmen spent p dollars on five cookies. If each cookie cost the same amount, how much did each cookie cost? Second one says, Carmen bought five cookies. If P is the cost of each cookie, how much was the total cost of the cookies? Third one says, Carmen bought P cookies. If each cookie costs $5, how much was the total cost of the cookies? And the last one says, Carmen spent $5 on cookies. If P is the cost of each cookie, how much did each cookie cost? Since we know we should be starting with a total value of P, that means we can eliminate these two answer choices. Now we want to see which one would be divided. Now we want to see which one would be divided into five groups. That would be this one. So we have our answer. All right, you are now an expert in variables. Now try some problems of your own. Do you think you can do them? I do. I'm positive. 